let's make a salad. So I figured we'd have to start with some head because in every good salad, you have to get some head. And that's just how it goes with these things. Usually the, the more head, the better. Usually it's larger and it creates for a really pleasant time. I like to have a lot of head, especially in my salad, okay? Now, I'm throwing in quite a bit here, you see, but I'm saving a little bit of room for some spinach. Why? Because spinach gives you muscles and makes you strong. Ain't that right, Popeye? So we're gonna go ahead and just continue to get a little bit ahead from this feller here. Just, you know, rip away. The crunchy stuff's good. It, I mean, it's good stuff. I don't wanna go too crazy, because if you go a little too crazy, people are gonna look at you funny, like, God, that guy's eating so much salad. What's the point in eating healthy if you're gonna eat like shit? You don't wanna be that guy. Okay, then we're gonna spruce this up a little bit. Actually, before we top it off with the spinach, let's go ahead and slice up a strawberry. Make sure they're fresh and always clean them beforehand. So here we go. A little bit of slice, a little slice, and a slice. It's true, I'm a Gemini. I do enjoy cooking, although I don't do it as often as you'd think. But when I try to impress a lady, it doesn't take much. All right. Now let's just keep this going. So far, so good. Are you with me? We have two strawberries. We're going to cut them up into fun little pieces. That way it's not overwhelming, especially for those kids out there. They're like, oh my god, I want to eat so healthy, but I just don't like tasting these large chunks of fucking fruit all the time. So we made it very friendly, very easy, and really nice. This is going to go down great. Did you notice how I change up how I cut the strawberries? That's called creativity. And not staying bland, because no one likes a bland person. So we gotta keep on making it fun and exciting every time. You really never know what to expect next. Now, we do get rid of this, but it looks like we can get a tiny bit more of some freshness. Oh, there she blows. There she blows. Now we're gonna just make good use of this head, and we're gonna sprinkle it in here. There you go. There you go. So little, a little sprinkle, a little sprinkle of some strawberries, some fresh goodness. Everyone needs some fresh goodness in their life. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, it might just blow your mind. Let's say you really want that salad. You'll love to have a little bit of sprinkle cheese all up on it. But the sprinkle fairy ran away with your cheese. So what do you do? You cut up some cheese yourself, silly goose. And to even speed up the time here, you can cut it in half. Fold it in half, and then just slice away. Do you see how much fun we're having here? Just just slicing away, making sure every little piece is, is nice, just like that sprinkle stuff. I could probably do this even quicker, but I don't want to get carried away and hurt myself, because knives are dangerous and sharp. So... After a f quite a few minutes of this, not even minutes, okay, I'll speed it up. You guys are silly. You're like, speed it up, Moss. Let's see how you do shit around your neck of the woods. Just be safe when you do this, okay? I really, really practice what I preach, guys. So make sure you're always safe. You take that bit of cheese. Ooh, I have have a piece. <laughs> Foodborne pathogens, hello. We're gonna go ahead and just toss this up on here. Oh my God, it's coming alive. Whoa, it's coming. Oh, baby. Let's not get carried away. We're going to put this cheese aside. We, we want to make sure it's evenly spread throughout. Tomato. Everyone likes tomatoes. These ones were not as fresh as they could be. Oh, she just squirted. Did you see that? Oh, the juices were so... Oh, God. That is a squirtastic little tomato. Now, of course, this is not the right knife, stupid. But I'm going to use it anyway because I don't want to switch knives in a video. I feel it creates norm normality. And I don't want to be normal, because normal is never fun. Normal is boring, and what is boring? Bland. And what is bland? Come on. What's bland? Normal. Normal is bland, and no one has fun with normal. Now we're going to mix the tomato in with our tiny bit of fruit here, and our little bit of lettuce, and our little bit of sprinkle cheese that we made on our own, because we're so creative, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Thinking outside the box. Give it a little, give it a little one of these. Boop. Not too much, not too much. We want those toppings on top. Then we're gonna bring in Mr. Spinach here. Mr. Spinach, bring me a treat. Give me some of that good shit that I like to eat. Okay, this is so fun. 
Are you guys feeling? Are you guys feeling ready to make a salad tonight? Are you gonna go get some ingredients and just go? I'm gonna fucking make the salad. Eat the shit out of that salad. Now, it might not look that good because of how I top things, but it's in there. And when you dig down, you're gonna get the best fucking shit in town. Now, some of this might offend you. What I'm gonna do next? It's gonna offend a lot of you. I don't have croutons, but what does any pro chef do? Substitution oyster crackers. I love my croutons, but I also enjoy oyster crackers. As a child, I used to take a mouthful of oyster crackers, put them in my right or left cheek, depending on how I felt that day, and then I would just go ahead and drown myself in milk, and it felt amazing. Now that we have all this topped and just looking all freaking spectacular, no, it looks like an absolute mess, but that doesn't matter because it's coming out your ass, and what happens when it comes out your ass? It's an absolute mess. So it doesn't really matter. Now here comes the fun part. The stuff that makes it fattening. Always check the back, the label. It's very important. Calories, 130. Fat from calories, 120. That is stupid ridiculous, okay? Keep that in mind. Stupid ridiculous. So we're going to sprinkle a tiny bit on. Got to be careful how you let her flow. Sometimes she has a heavy flow. There are certain ones that have the little squeeze. I, I definitely love the squeeze. Don't use too much. That's already quite a bit. Now, because I washed my hands, I can fuck my own salad. So, we are gonna fuck the salad, and you'll notice all the ingredients start sticking together, not only to my fingers and my hands, but also to all the surroundings in here. Ooh, you're seeing the tomatoes come alive now, aren't you, kids? Oh, that is wonderful. Take this, put it on top. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, God, we have so much fun. Well, it looks like I'm all done getting ahead here. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video here, and maybe you'll go out and decide to make your own salad. Let me know how it goes. Have a great day. I'm going to eat this now.